In this week's episode of Hashtag Almost 30, I'm going to bake a cake! I realized that these are cake mix boxes, but here's the deal. I'm going to make a dark chocolate fudgy brownie cake for the not so cake lover love of cake eater. I'm going to make a double batch of sort of cake. My ingredients that I need are three eggs, one cup of water, third cup of vegetable oil. For the brownie, a quarter cup of water, third of a cup of vegetable oil, one egg. I wonder if the only difference is the amount of egg and oil and stuff. Since I've just recently moved, I can't remember where anything is. I couldn't find my regular measuring cups, but I can find my decorative owl cups. Yeah. Give this a nice whiskey stir. Whiskey, yeah, yeah. Oh, you're supposed to preheat the oven. One says 325 and one says 350. So I'm gonna do 340. Brownie mix, cake mix. I feel like there's a lot of liquid in here compared to the batter itself, like the powdery dry stuff. Maybe I should not use a fork because it's not really working. Very liquidy. It only gave me one lid, but three pans. Make sure you put oil or spray on your pan so that when you go to flip it out, you can do that. Olive oil. I used all this spray in all my other episodes. Touch there, touch there, touch there. You can also put flour in your pan, but we all know that I don't like flour. You wanna pour your batter in your pans. That, that's pretty much what, the, that's the next step. Try to make it even, woo. Okay, yeah. All right, ha ha ha. The thing with this, I'm using disposable pans and I couldn't find ones with perfectly round edges. So this is gonna be like a flower layered cake and I think it's gonna make it that much harder to layer. Oh well. The most important part of the cake baking process is what you do with the spatula. You have to eat it. I don't care what my mom says, that there's raw egg in it, I'm still gonna eat it. That's so good. You're missing out, mom. Hopefully this doesn't rise too much because it's very full. We'll stick these bad boys in there to bake and then come back once it's cooled. I can't figure out how to use the timer on my oven. I'm gonna use the microwave, but I kind of feel like an idiot. We're going to start the frosting. I've got my one cup thing. This is a lot of margarine. I don't know about this. I don't have the right measuring cup for this, really. This is disgusting. It says to melt the margarine. Hopefully my owl is microwave safe because I'm just gonna melt it in here. Melt. Butter, stir in cocoa. Alternately add powdered sugar and milk, beating on a medium speed. I don't know where my beaters are at all. Found my measuring cups. Melted margarine. Hoo, hoo, hoo. Hot, 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 hot. Hurrah! I was able to find my beater things. This is not enough. Oh, this is terrible. Terrible, terrible, terrible. I'm sorry, but the lowest speed is not very slow. Got freaking chocolate everywhere. I ran out of chocolate, so pause. So the timer went off and I checked the cakes and it turns out I accidentally canceled the bake. So it's been baking at 100 degrees for I'm not sure how long. So I'm gonna put it in another half an hour. That's that's a shame. So I now have the rest of my chocolate. However, the frosting has hardened, so we're hoping that it's still gonna work. I literally just squirted chocolate everywhere. This is ridiculous. I'm gonna need a bigger bowl. There's chocolate on my screen. Great. All right, here we are, day two. Let's be real here. I was having this cake for a party. During the party, I... That was creepy. During the party, I tried to frost the cake. Without you, I'm sorry, I know. It really was more of me pouring the frosting on the cake. You didn't miss much. Here's the finished product. Unveiling. Oh, oh, da -da. That fudge in the middle is not on purpose. It just was a very not thick frosting because of our little paws in the middle. And that's what the frosting looks like. That nice drizzle of failure. On this week's episode of Hashtag Almost 30, I learned sometimes you just can't do it all. I was moving, throwing a birthday party, planning the dinner, baking a cake, making jello, making a bunch of other food, trying to do my job, trying to clean my old apartment, moving, pretty sure I already said that one. It's been a little crazy. But I also learned just because something looks terrible doesn't mean it is terrible. On the outside, this cake frosting, mm-hmm, looks pretty disgusting, but 
it's good. I'm not gonna lie. I learned that you should definitely be prepared, like pre-prepared. Sometimes you just gotta do what you gotta do and you can't have it all, and that's okay. Or you just gotta keep telling yourself that. Measuring cup, I don't know where you are. Measuring cup, measuring cup, I lost you. Necessarily use your cooking pot you for this. Get your nails, but that's what most pots Texture. are.